Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going back to a basic move, the man in the moon, but I'm gonna show you some fun ways to spice it up, add some variations, and even make it a little bit more of an intermediate and advanced move by adding on different positions. This is a great move to have in your back pocket because it is a rest move. Plus, these variations are really pretty and unusual looking. Just a quick reminder first off to please subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. I have lots more aerial tutorials over there, plus other aerial related videos and a really great community of people. So make sure you check it out and subscribe. A quick review of your basic man in the moon. Turn yourself completely sideways in the hoop. Put the bottom bar of the hoop along your spine and put the side bar of the hoop on the side of your neck. Place your two feet at least halfway up the opposite side of the hoop and make sure that you lift your heels as far away from the hoop as possible. You can either do this by pressing your toes against the side or even holding the side of the hoop between your toes, but make sure those heels are far away so that your feet look nice and pointed. That's your basic move, but you can add in some beginner variations. A great one is to straighten one leg. I like to pass my straight leg through the center of the hoop so that the hoop is against the outside of my ankle. That way I can push out with that leg and give myself a little extra stability by pushing against the hoop. You can play around a lot with having one straight leg or crossing one leg over. Another beautiful beginner variation is to cross both legs through the center of the hoop and trap the top of the hoop between your ankles. This is a great one, especially for us taller people who feel a little bit squished in the normal man in the moon. Let's take things to a little bit more intermediate level with a stag. Start by checking what side of your head the hoop is on. The hoop is on the right side of my head. It's touching my right ear and put that foot on the bottom. So hoop on the right side of my head, right foot on the bottom. If the hoop is on the left side of your head, then left foot on the bottom. I'm going to use my hand on the side of the hoop to steady myself as I take out my bottom foot, bring it below the hoop, leaving my top foot right where it is, and then I can let go with my arms. I like to bring my arm up next to my ear, that way it's easier to hold the hoop between my shoulder and my neck. And you can reach down with your opposite arm and grab your bottom foot. You can come out of this by either just replacing your foot on the hoop and coming back into your man in the moon, or you can put one straight arm on the bottom, grab the top of the hoop with your other arm, and come into your Amazon position. Speaking of Amazon, let's go from man in the moon to an Amazon split. Reach around the hoop with one arm. I have the hoop on the right side of my head, so I'm gonna use my right arm. That way the hoop is between my shoulder and my neck. Straighten the leg on the same side that your head is on. The hoop is on the right side of my head, and I'm straightening my left leg. As you straighten your leg, grab onto that top ankle with the arm that is reaching around. Make sure that you're grabbing the outside of your ankle. Grabbing the inside of your ankle is difficult and less effective. You should try to have the side of the hoop in your elbow as much as possible. Reach around underneath you with your opposite arm and then slide your hips out the side of the hoop as you grab the bottom of the hoop with that bottom arm and straighten your elbow. Come into an Amazon, but with one leg straightened and still grabbed with your top hand. To come out of it, just bring your bottom leg back into the hoop and hook it over to come into your cradle. And finally, let's do a little Bird of Paradise prep. Bird of Paradise on the hoop can be really challenging because all of your body weight is pulling against your shoulder and elbow. This is a great way to get started with it without having to do the full position. Think of it as sort of your halfway cheating version of your Bird of Paradise. I find this move a little bit easier if I start more sitting up in the hoop than if I'm down right at the bottom of the hoop. So you might wanna have a slightly higher man in the moon to start out with. Hook your elbow over the top of the hoop as high up as possible. Again, I'm using the arm that will allow me to have the hoop between my neck and my shoulder. Lift up your opposite leg, so for me that is my left leg. Then hook your free arm around that leg and grab your hand or your wrist so that your grabbed hands are holding that leg up. When you're ready, you can slide your bottom leg straight and lean back a little bit, coming into a split position. If you want, you can let go of your hands and open your chest a little towards the ground. This is just a different variation on the same position. 
This is the easier, quote unquote, version of the Bird of Paradise because your weight is still on your hips, which are in the hoop. Do not try to slide your hips out of the hoop in this setup because your leg normally in a Bird of Paradise is wrapped around the bottom of the hoop. Here it is not, so you will crash to the ground. I'll do a tutorial soon on the full Bird of Paradise, but for now, keep with this one. To come out of it, I like to leave my elbow hooked as I let go of my leg, bring it through the center of the hoop and come into this nice little double bent knee sort of droopy hanging on the hoop position. I think it's really pretty. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these variations on your man in the moon. I love coming up with new ways to make a basic or a common position new and interesting. And these are really fun to come up with. Please make sure to check out my channel and subscribe. It really helps me out when you do. And I will see you guys next time.